Well, this is it. An occasion of true grandeur. The date has been ringed in red for months now, and the stage is set here on the Spanish capital for the UEFA Champions League final. My name is Derek Ray. My co-commentator to help describe all the action is, of course, Lee Dixon. And we're fast approaching kickoff time here at the magnificent Estadio Metropolitano. It's Paris Saint-Germain up against Bayern Munich. Good evening. What a pleasure it is to be here with you, Derek, sitting over this magnificent stadium with arguably the best two teams. Well, obviously the best two teams in this competition this year because they're in the final. And what a final we've got. The pitch looks fantastic. The crowd are expecting. There's the trophy just sitting there and the players are in the tunnel just about to do what they do best, go out and play and entertain us. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Ashraf Hakimi plays with Bernat as fullbacks. Marco Verratti starts with Jorginho Wijnaldum in central midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Kylian Mbappe. Well, what an achievement to get to back-to-back -back finals. It really is, especially in the Champions League. But when you get to a final, you have to win it. And they're confident, they have belief, and they're going to try their best to pick that glorious trophy up again. Well, here is the Bayern side. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Niklas Zule starts with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. And leading the line today, Robert Lewandowski. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? Found that. Here's Ramos. Marquinhos. Hakimi. Messi. They keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Verratti. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Kimmich. This is Robert Lewandowski. Well, he's right at the top of the world tree. Neymar. Lee, what do you particularly like about him? Well, defenders beware. Because just when you think you've got him in the corner, he wriggles his way out and he's away. Messi. Neymar ready. And strongly fisted away. Niklas Zule versus Müller. But he could run onto it here. A very timely interception. But it did look dangerous for a moment, but the keeper has it now. Well, being pressed here. The high press was very much on. Goretzka. Well-timed tackle. A potential danger here. Crisp tackling. Perfect example of how to put in a tackle. And a corner will be next. And now the delivery. Gets his glove on it. Marquinhos. It's a good looking ball in behind. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Danger averted for now. Goretzka and the ball with Alfonso Davies Gnabry let's see about the cross well blocked but he must clear it away we're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back well rule two have taken up an illegal position only just Verratti 
Di Maria now. Still passing it around with authority. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Thomas Müller. The ball back with PSG now. Promising position here for Di Maria. Takes the shot. And still a chance. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Zane. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, the opening goal in any game is important for the Champions League final. Wow. Well, as we see this again, Derek, it's easy to be critical. And I'll stress, I've never been a goalkeeper. But surely he's got to do better than that. His mistake leads to the goal, no doubt about it. Well, he can't let the frustrations get the better of him, Derek. His players need help here. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Wijnaldum. Lionel Messi. Mbappe. How can he take them on and beat them? Messi. Careless in possession. And that will do it for the first half here at the Estadio Metropolitano. Into the second half then in this battle for Champions League glory. Well, as we can see from the stats, PSG enjoying the bulk of possession here. But it's just whether they can convert that possession into clear-cut chances. You sense they need to pick up the pace a little. Start utilising the wide areas. Oh, what a wonderful diving save by Manuel Neuer. Well, that's the kind of save any keeper would be proud of. He's driven in the corner. Well, it looked so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. Alfonso Davies onto Goretzka. A good effective pressure high up the pitch. Mbappe. Cleared away. Upa Mercado. Thomas Müller. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Goretzka. Now with Upa Mercado. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Bayern have lost possession here. Potential danger. It could be the big moment for him. Alas, he's made his move too early. Offside. It's a substitution for Bayern. And possession given away. Di Maria. High quality defending. Zane. Looks promising here from Lewandowski, this run. Müller. Zane. And Lewandowski in the thick of things. What a vital intervention. Di Maria. Now with Hakimi. 
Promising attack, this. Verratti in the thick of the action. Pretty comfortable piece of defending. Hakimi, well cleared away. Well, a goal for PSG from the corner really would change the complexion of the game. Corner kick played in. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Pavard. Mark Roca. With the noses in front in the second half. What will be the thinking in the camp, Lee Dixon? With a narrow lead and the clock ticking away, it's so easy for the Bayern players to lose concentration. Asking a referee how long to go, looking over at the bench for signals. Staying focused is a skill. And he's through here. Big chance it is. Oh my goodness, it's drama, heaped on drama, a late leveller. Well, they left it late, but they're back in it, Derek. You're right, drama. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back, but then there's still plenty to do from here. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he just about keeps him at bay and finishes with a plum. Great goal. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Alfonso Davies. Gnabry with it. And five minutes to go. And PSG using width to good effect. Well, forward they go again. Can they win this? Useful ball to the near post. And it's come off the keeper. Danger averted for now. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Can he put them in front? Neuer had ground to cover and got there. I think even his defenders are shocked at that save. personnel now con el 19 Davis entrará en el terreno de juego there's a livery from Neymar taking care of business defensively here that is that after 90 minutes they are level and extra time is coming up Understandable that fatigue might set in. A strength sapping night for all concerned as the first period of extra time begins. Really showing off his wide range of passing skills. Wijnaldum. And showing fine vision. It had an invitation attached but he couldn't avail himself of the opportunity. Well, just look at him. He thinks he's in just wide. Pavard. This is Müller. Well, Derek, it's close. There's nothing in this. Two heavyweights slugging away at each other. Attacks are on top for both teams, which is helping to create a really good open game. And options in the centre. Well, doing the job defensively that time. Pavard. Müller in the middle. Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it.
Sané. Now Kimi. Regained possession. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? Sloppy from Sané. PSG looking dangerous. He takes aim. And there is the goal! He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, as we see this again, Derek, Bobby Charlton used to say, pass the ball into the net. And that's exactly what he did there. Really lovely finish. Let's have another view of that goal. Well, all the hard work has paid off, but the manager knows a lot more has to be done to secure this game. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Upamecano. Hernandez. Pavard. Now with Zule. Upamecano. Lucas Hernandez. Mark Roca. And Kimmich. Well, five minutes remaining in this, the second period of extra time. Bayern late in the game, battling against the clock and the scoreline. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. cleared the final hurdle in the Champions League. Well, almost no words are needed. You just look down at the celebrations, the relief after the final whistle. Commiserations to the other players, but it's a celebration time now. All that sacrifice and commitment and desire to win a trophy, and they've won the biggest one. Absolutely brilliant. This is what Paris Saint-Germain have been targeting for a good number of years. official now they are PSG the best in Europe League well breathe it in breathe these moments in how many times you get the chance to stand on a podium let alone pick that trophy up deep breaths from the captain just before he actually puts his hand on this famous trophy the cup with the big ears as they sometimes call it and it's the property now for this year at any rate of PSG well they'll be celebrating long into the night with their friends and family and quite rightly so it'll be a late night Derek I'm sure a fantastic feeling for all concerns as they drink it in and this is really special getting to celebrate in front of your own fans